G'day, how you going? Welcome to Sumo's Projects and welcome to my build today. Uh, project I'm going to embark upon is uh, an outdoor build and it's basically uh, a large easel uh, come a frame of sorts. Mum and her friends want to do a painting on, on a bit of cement sheeting. Uh, not sure what it's going to be but uh, we'll see that at the end. So let's go, let's, uh, let's make this easy little project. So I tend to be lucky to be able to buy these long lengths, um, I think this one's about 5.7 metres around that and the easiest way is just to set up a couple of uh, saw horses and um, get the old handsaw out and you know you just measure it out a little bit longer and then I just cut them and then eventually take them over and square them up on the miter saw but um, this is a good exercise and I think I need it too. So after square up, uh, I just want to remove, make a bit of a rebate here. This, this is more or less like a picture frame and there's different ways to do this. You can use a dado stack or, or even a router, but um, this is pretty effective on the table saw. Uh, two cuts and you, you've not actually got as much sawdust, you've just got one strip left, which may come in useful for something. I don't know what, but it could be. So once you've marked out your, your miter corners, um, this an old timer showed me this little trick years ago. Just cut out a little bit with your handsaw and that's that's a, a good little spot where the tape measure can uh, just bunk into and that allows you then to look at the uh, other side where your other miter will be and just uh, mark out your measurement from there. So two sheets combined give a width of approximately 2.4 metres and they're at a height of uh, about 1.8. So in uh, the imperial measurement that's an approximate of about 7 foot 11 by 5 foot 11 which uh, is, is quite a fair challenge trying to assemble this. So I'm just laying this on the concrete floor. Um, this is as good a spot as any, probably the best space I have for this size. Uh, join, clamping up the mitre corners, bit of glue, bit of glue never goes astray and um, I'm using galvanised nails to uh, do the assembly here and I'll do a little bit extra assembly, you will see me doing that a little bit later on. The lipness test to make sure everything's in square, just uh, put your tape on an edge and measure your diagonals and if they're within say a millimetre you're pretty right. So as one should do, I uh, just want to take a moment out to thank to the, spon the sponsor of today's show and um, that is oh. that is I'm using these L-shaped brackets as reinforcement for the mitre corners. Um, I suppose things like this and all sorts of uh, galvanised brackets are used in industry uh, for buildings. Um, also pre-drilling and using galvanised screws to attach the cement sheet. Uh, these are rather large cement sheets. They've got a bit of weight in them so um, I'm adding as many screws as I can, probably every 200, 300 millimetres. Um, yeah, so hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will be nice and stable. Having the cement sheets uh, screwed into place, I'm now putting uh, an extra additional bracing. So I'm notching out here a certain amount, uh, going down to the depth, which will allow this bit of uh, bracing then to sit flat on the uh, actual cement sheet. So. 
just cut away a few notches and then uh, clean it up with the blade. So uh, just cross brace the back here, uh, some edge sheets down, secure with screws as you saw, and it's coming along alright. So I've got to stand it up in a minute and um, just then put some uh, reinforcement from the front and nothing should move after that. But just uh, on a light note, um, there was a bit of uh, pine floating around the hardwood shed and just getting a little bit too, too ahead of itself. and. Um, you know, unfortunately the uh, hardwood had, a, had got enough, had enough of this after a while and I just told the pine to get knotted. <laughs> yeah. Attaching a strip of merbu here to the front. Uh, this is extra reinforcement, I suppose you could say. Um, and then packing up, I've taken the uh, actual frame over in a larger vehicle because it wouldn't fit on mine. So packing the ute up with a few tools and heading over to mum's place. Uh, once here, I've cut these strips. This is uh, then going to be attached to the gazebo. And then also this will be uh, acting as a brace and support for the frame uh, to just alleviate any downward pressure with the weight of it. Putting a couple of pilot holes and putting a few um, galvanised nails uh, that will attach to the decking. Um, so that's about it. It was now time for the artistic community to come together and. Um, bash out some ideas and as we can see this is the start of something which is a, a fantastic fun project for all concerned. And as these things go, uh, do a little bit and then come back, have a bit of a discussion about how we're going. Uh, I think that's a fruitful idea. Oh, just as it happens, um, the passing shower came by Unfortunately, this can happen in summertime in Australia. Um, well, actually, I think it was a little bit more than a shower, but eventually it did dry up and uh, all hands back on deck and um, another further assault on getting this beautiful mural painting finished. So there you go, end result, beautiful mural painting done. Uh, everyone had fun doing this, you can see uh, it's got a lot of character. A couple of kookaburros up in the gum tree. Uh, we've got ourselves an old hut, miner's hut. Uh, a couple of chickens running around there, having a bit of fun. Also got the uh, little white cockatoos in the tree. Uh, poor little cow under the tree here. He's alright, just enjoying himself. A um, lot of aspect. A lot of uh, colour. This is uh, capturing the Australian landscape for what it is. It can be very harsh in summertime. Uh, we're in summer now and probably about 43 degrees forecast today. That's how we live. <coughs> Pretty wrapped. Uh, this frame is very solid. Uh, reinforced it in every way I could. Uh, used outdoor materials, so galvanised uh, and even stainless materials. So that all helps uh, resist against, you know, wet weather, damp weather, humidity, so all in all, I'm, I'm really pleased that this was made. It's going to be a talking point for people as they congregate around for barbecues here and um, I'm sure I'm sure it'll get a lot of time viewed. People sort of, you know, it's, it's always there in your eyesight so you're going to have a look and you're going to talk about, oh, I didn't see that last time I looked at this. So, fantastic and um, you can do this yourself at home, you know, it uh, doesn't take that much, uh, just a little bit of effort. Uh, you might need two people because it's a large frame, but 
uh, so be it. Anyway, this is your first time with Sumo's Projects. Uh, you're very welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. That just notifies you as to when I release a new video. Um, go ahead, share if you like. And um, until next time, get out in the shed or get out in the great outdoors, make something, have fun, and um, I'll see you then. All right. Hooroo.